The celiac trunk is the first anterior branch of the abdominal aorta, supplies the foregut, so it is called the artery of the foregut, arises from the abdominal aorta immediately below the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm, anterior to the T12 vertebra. Terminates immediately by dividing into its three terminal branches, left gastric artery, splenic artery, common hepatic artery. The left gastric artery is the smallest branch of the celiac trunk, ascends to the gastroesophageal junction and sends its esophageal branches upward to the abdominal part of the esophagus. Then it turns and descends along the lesser curvature of the stomach in the lesser omentum. Finally, it terminates by anastomosing with the right gastric artery. The splenic artery is the largest branch of the celiac trunk, takes a tortuous course to the left, posterior to the stomach, along the superior border of the pancreas. Here it gives off numerous pancreatic branches, dorsal, greater, and other small pancreatic branches, then it travels in the splenorenal ligament. Here it gives off short gastric arteries, left gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery. Finally, it terminates by dividing into numerous branches, which enter the hilum of the spleen. So the branches of the splenic artery are dorsal pancreatic artery, greater pancreatic artery, other small pancreatic arteries, short gastric arteries, left gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery, terminal branches which enter the hilum of the spleen. The short gastric arteries and the left gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery both pass through the gastrosplenic ligament. Then the short gastric arteries ascend upward and supply the fundus and upper body of the stomach, while the left gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery runs to the right along the greater curvature of the stomach in the greater omentum and terminates by anastomosing with the right gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery. The common hepatic artery is the medium-sized branch of the celiac trunk, runs a short course to the right and terminates into hepatic artery proper, gastroduodenal artery. The hepatic artery proper, or hepatic artery, is the ascending terminal branch of the common hepatic artery, ascends toward the liver in the free edge of the lesser omentum, to the left of the bile duct, and anterior to the hepatic portal vein, so it is part of the portal triad, gives off the right gastric artery. Finally, terminates near the porta hepatis by dividing into the right and left hepatic arteries. The right gastric artery courses to the left along the lesser curvature of the stomach in the lesser omentum and terminates by anastomosing with the left gastric artery. The right hepatic artery usually passes posterior to the common hepatic duct, while the left hepatic artery usually passes anterior to the left hepatic duct. Here, in Collot's triangle, the right hepatic artery gives off the cystic artery, which supplies the gallbladder. Then both arteries, right and left hepatic arteries, enter the porta hepatis and distribute to supply the right and left parts of the liver, respectively. The gastroduodenal artery is the descending terminal branch of the common hepatic artery. At its beginning, it gives off the supraduodenal artery. Near the upper border of the superior part of the duodenum, it gives off the posterior superior pancreaticoduodenal artery. Then, it descends posterior to the superior part of the duodenum. At the lower border of the superior part of the duodenum, it terminates into anterior superior pancreaticoduodenal artery, right gastroomental or gastroepiploic artery. The supraduodenal artery supplies the superior part of the duodenum. The anterior superior and posterior superior pancreaticoduodenal arteries descend and anastomose, respectively, with the anterior inferior and posterior inferior pancreaticoduodenal branches of the superior mesenteric artery. The right gastroomental, or gastroepiploic artery, passes to the left along the greater curvature of the stomach in the greater omentum and terminates by anastomosing with the left gastroomental, or gastroepiploic artery.